Food on the Block, and I'm here with... Uh, Rob. And? Sage. From? Jersey. And? Jersey. Both in Jersey. What part of Jersey? Morristown. Orange. Oh, okay. I've been to both. Orange is... Uh, my kids were living in Orange, East Orange over there. It's, it's not that great. It's all right. It's not Newark, but it's not... You know, it could be better. That's true. That's true. Better. It could be better. Hold on. Are you wearing orange because you're from Orange? Something like that. <laughs> ah! 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 A lot of orange. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Um. All right. So, fellas, are you in a relationship or are you single? Are you currently in a relationship or are you single? Just got out. Single. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, wow. Just got out? Yeah, like, like a week ago. A week ago. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, no. I'm glad I made it. I made it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are five qualities that make you a good person to date or marry? I don't know yet. That's why I'm going to think about that in my 30s. Right? Yeah. That's a good answer. Honestly. That's a good answer. Yeah. Well, what's your answer? Um, what makes me a good person to date? What makes you five qualities that make you a good person to date or marry? Sure. I wouldn't I wouldn't be dating you if I wasn't ready to date you, that's for sure. Um you know, if I'm trying to date you, that's what's up. You know, I'm not going I'm not going to go in any relationship thinking I'm trying to date somebody, you know what I mean? You no, know, it just happened naturally. No, it's like like no, like qualities, like what qualities do you possess? Like what what would make someone want to fuck with you? Oh, uh fun as hell, yeah. yeah. A little off the beans, um love getting money, uh you know, hustle, passionate about shit, uh you know. Regular ass dude, like cool dude. Yeah. What about you? You thought of anything? I mean, I don't know. I just qualities. Like what you what you give into a relationship. What what would make someone want to be with you? Can't think of it off the top of my head right now. Not on top of that. <laughs> yeah, no. I, yeah, exactly. I need some time off. <laughs> I hear that, man. You need time, time off the relationship. Time off. Yeah, everything. I need little little me time. I hear so, that. All right, I hear that. so. What do you look for? If you still, if you, if you're looking, what do you look for in a relationship? You know, we, bro. we know. We, <laughs> um, me personally, uh, shoot, you know, gotta have some ambition. Uh, yeah. you know, this shit gotta kind of want to be split 50 50. You know, um, shoot, I don't mind doing certain things a little overboard, but you know, yeah. uh, you go overboard too sometimes for me. You good know, sense of humor. Yeah, good right. Sense of humor you need to cool. be funny. Yeah, it's essential. Gotta be I with a little bit of dark humor, like, um, yeah. uh, shoot, like to go outside, you know, you an outside type of person, you know, uh, me personally, I don't really care what you wear and shit, like, I'm, I'm a real trusting type of person, so, uh, you know, I just want to be able to feel that is reciprocated, um, you know, man, whatever, like, you sound like you know exactly what you're looking for, huh, yeah, vaguely, I've been thinking about it, I've been single for like four years, so, you know, I've, I've experienced a real nice relationship, so it's um, it's going to be hard for me to accept anything less than that. Uh, so, you know, yeah, it's all about elevating and thinking about what you want on the next step that's more important than, uh, you know, you can't stay on the same level if you try to elevate yourself. You're not going to supposed to be fucking with the same type of girls, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at personally. I'm going up, so, you know, like chicks, that's going up too. That's it. That's what's so up. That's what's I up. Like, I like a girl with a nice ass, right? I mean, personally, I like all types of girls. I've been um, fucking with all types of girls recently. Tall girls, yep. small girls, fat girls, skinny girls. So, um, you know, I, I like, a, uh, you know, it's just flavors. You know, it's a lot of different flavors. You know what I mean? So, uh, any particular know, race? Any. Any. No. no. Don't, don't even matter, right? Don't not matter to me. Nope. All right. So, all right. So. Like a nice ass, though. Fat ass is cool. You got to have an ass. You got not. You know, yeah, a little bit. Something got to be going on. If it ain't necessarily that bubbly, it got to be nice shape. You know what I'm saying? Like At least a cushion. Yeah, at least a cushion. Yeah. Something. Can't be getting stabbed and shit. That ain't cool. That's a necessity, definitely, in our book. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You definitely need something like that, right? So what would be three things that would make you walk away from a uh, relationship? No ass, right? Well, no ass is one of them. Got to be. Yeah, I mean, that, that'll get old. Yeah, that, that gets old, definitely. Yeah, you, you start to miss that, but, um, <laughs> right? So, so you should know better. You just got out of it. What are three things that would make you want to walk away from a relationship? Um, you know, just like a age gap, I guess, and uh, different different worldviews, and... Um, you like older women, by the way. Yeah. So, hold on, you just said age gap. So, 
So you like a big age gap instead of a little age gap? Yeah, uh, well, my ex is 35. And you are? I'm 25. But was she too young for you? Uh, yeah, no, 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 nothing like that. Just like, uh, it was a year. It ran its course. I hear that. Yeah, yeah, a year I'm good with, and then, um, let's, we, I guess we just had to do our own things, you know? So you in the cougar pussy? Yeah. I mean... You like that warm soapy rag afterwards, huh? Amongst others, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> the other types, yeah, yeah. So what are three things that make you walk away from a relationship? Uh, annoying, that's annoying as hell. Uh, you like to sleep all day, and you don't want to do shit but sit in the crib and smoke weed and sleep all day and shit. Like, that's boring as hell. You don't want a boring bitch. No, can't be boring and annoying. Like, that's not a cool duo at all. Get up and go. Yeah, Gotta get go. up and go. Shit to yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? There's something to do. We got. She got to be ready to roll. Yeah, she got to be ready to roll. Only have a little time. You know? If she's not doing her old thing and she's going to be rolling with me, she got to be ready to that. roll. I hear that. So, y'all are friends. Do your friends influence who you date? No. Really no. I don't think so. No influence at all? Like, if they said, yo, don't mess with that girl. She butt ugly with no ass. You still mess with her? We wouldn't be having that conversation. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, my boy yeah. wants to do that. That's him, you know. I'll, yeah. I'll protect his image and shit. I ain't probably gonna say nothing. Like, you know, bro, that's you, man. I know he gonna wake up taking that L heavy, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, it she's is what it is. She's gonna have an ass. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's just most likely gonna have an ass. She that's might what I'm saying, yeah, I don't even know what. I'm, I, this is a confusing question to us, because she's not gonna have a, a flat ass for sure. <laughs> she's not, there's no way she's not gonna have an ass. Right. I've, I've fucked with this I mean, I don't know, but who knows? True, lo true love exists, so she might not. Who knows? Have you ever heard of the five love languages? No. Nah. Me neither, till just today. So, what would... All right, so a few of them are, like, physical contact, uh, giving gifts, uh, uh, verbal affirmation, and um, a few other things. Like, I don't even know them all. What would... what? So, what do you... What is your love language? What would your love language be, do you think? I guess, um... One of them is giving gifts. Spending, like, spending, like, a lot of time together. That's one of them, quality time. Does, yeah, just, like, a lot, like, hours uh, of the day. Yeah. You just like being up under home, girl. Any, any, <laughs> anything, yeah. Any, anything, just for hours, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. What about you? Me, depends, but I'm probably more of a gift giver, personally. So you like showing your love language as giving gifts? I mean, like, hey, surprise, we got a trip to Miami. I mean, tickets for $80, but you still got them, right? It's not, a, it's not even about the money or the size of the gift, right? It's just the gift, period. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't really matter. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, really, most yeah. of the time. That really still a thing, the thought that counts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That didn't go anywhere. That's dope. Yeah, if somebody, yeah, I mean, yeah. If somebody got me a whack-ass gift, I might be tight. I mean, but no, nah, it is the thought that counts most of the time. So the language got to be a good gift language. It can't be a whack gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. It shouldn't be, yeah. <laughs> You can ask a motherfucker what they want, and you know, you get the best gift in the world. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily as heartfelt or will be as heartfelt as giving somebody something that you decided. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I don't know. Pretty something. much the thought behind the gift. So it's the gift, but it's really the thought behind the gift. Yeah, the effort behind the gift. The effort behind it. Because you got to pick some shit up on the way over here, and you know, it could be some bullshit, right? And I already got it in my crib. Uh, something, I don't know. But you, you know, you, you, it is effort behind the gift. There's different quality to different types of gifts. You know what I mean? Some can be completely heartfelt. Others can be just like random, like or something to like uh, appease you or something like that. Like not really a intentional, like uh, it's not a real intentional gift. Like a pacifier gift. Yeah, basically. That's what's up. So you want something that's really intentional to make you feel good. Yeah, yeah, make that shit intentional. Definitely. You want to do some shit? Like, do some shit. Don't half-ass it. Or, you know, do some shit, you know? That's it. That's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, no, yeah, this yeah. that's it. That was the last I question. I appreciate it. I felt the rain, too. It's perfect timing. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I Thanks, hope brother. that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops.